This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. We'll be doing some more double dutch pair of skills today. We're going to be doing a leg hold for the JV, and then the varsity is a turntable stack, which is one of my favorite um, skills after the subway. This is probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, inside of double dutch pairs. It takes a lot of teamwork and there's a lot of work that goes into doing this, but you can get some really cool looking skills um, when you're doing pair stuff if you you know work on that stack. And then the leg hold is just a good one to you know get working on your balance and you know working with another partner inside of double dutch. The JV skill. For the JV skill this episode, we're going to demonstrate a leg hold. Kelsey and Nick are going to demonstrate what this looks like. What uh, Nick's going to do is he's going to lift up his right leg. Kelsey's going to grab it with her left hand, and then she's going to lift up her right leg, and Nick's going to grab it with his left hand. And what they're going to do is they're going to jump in this position right here. So they're going to try taking a couple jumps to make sure that they're jumping together. The important part anytime you're doing double dutch skills, especially with partners, is that both of you are jumping at the same time. So you need to make sure that you can practice that outside of the ropes. You're both able to jump without being really off. Because if you're off, the turners will never be able to get the ropes around you. So they'll be jumping like that. Now one thing here to note is how to get into it and out of it. Basically, they'll make sure they count. They know when they're going to do it. They're going to just say one, two, lift their legs up, grab. They need to know how many jumps they're going to take. So they're going to take three jumps. So they'll take one, two, three, then they'll release, and they'll go back down. So what it'll look like outside of the ropes, they'll just take uh, two hops, they'll start jumping. We'll count one, two, they go up, two, three, down. So they just need to make sure they know the count and they can do it well outside of the ropes. Once they got it there, they're going to start doing it inside. So we'll start turning. They're going to jump in together, face each other. They're ready to go. One, two, they go up, two, three, down. And... The basic leg hold is that. You can also do it with the 360, and they'll just demonstrate that really quickly. All they do is they just grab legs, and then they just jump all the way around in the circle and then drop legs. And when they do it inside of the ropes, it looks like this. They step in. One, two. They go up. They jump in a circle. They have to jump real high to get all the way around. And when they get back, they drop legs, and they're finished. So that is what the leg hold looks like. Varsity skill. In pairs, you can do some different styles of jumping in a stack push-up. And the neat thing about stacks is you can combine stacks with turntable push-ups to create some real unique and interesting looking tricks. Now, Nick and I are going to demonstrate what this looks like. First of all, we're going to go into just a regular stack. Nick's going to go down into a push-up. I'm going to go over him. Now from here, normally with a stack, you would just get up or maybe you go into a reverse subway or something. But we're going to show how you could combine this with a turntable. So Nick's going to do a turntable push-up to his right. So if he turns, he would land here. Now I'm going to do a turntable push-up to my left, and I'm actually going to end up underneath him here. So this is a great way to switch from me being on top to Nick being on top. We could just go push-up, push-up, and then come up. So this is just a quick quarter turn push-up where we're both moving. So let's say we jump through it. We're going to count one, two, down, out. One, two, down, push-up, push-up, and up. So it's kind of a neat way to get to add a little bit of movement between the jumpers. There's interaction. We're not really far apart. We're actually right on top of each other doing different skills. And adding stacks and turntables together can really make some creativity with the routine. And just a real short one that we'll show you is say we add a subway to doing this and just how this would look if I'm saying on this side, because the end of this, I'm going to end up needing to face this direction. I'm going to go ahead, do a push-up here. Nick's going to do a subway under me. He comes up. Right when he comes up, we're going to do that quarter turn. So we're to here. I'll do one more quarter turn, so we end up here. And then we could come up, maybe go into a frog, or do some other types of tricks. So you can combine different skills to create some very interesting looking um, routines with this. So this would combine the subway with the stack and the, court, the uh, turntable. So we'll just show you what that looks like outside of the ropes real quick. We start jumping. One, two. There's one, two, three. Turn, turn, up. 
So that's just one way you could combine these two skills together to create some interesting looking combinations. So now let's take it into the double dutch ropes. Kelsey and Nick are going to show what this trick looks like inside of the double dutch ropes. What they're going to do first of all is they're going to step in here and just show you where they're going to be. The first one that they're going to do is Kelsey's going to do the push up over Nick's legs. They're going to do their quarter turn and then they're going to get up. Now the thing you have to note right here, if they go down into their push-up positions, is you'll notice just how wide they are. So right away you have to realize that Mike and I are going to have to turn nice and wide to make sure the ropes are going to get underneath their hands. Now when they do their quarter turn, they turn from here. Kelsey's now going to be the long one, and Nick's going to be the short one on this one. So what we have to... <laughs> 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 All, right. All right, stop that real quick. No, no never mind. We'll just do it. We're good. Nick's short. We got it. All right. All right, we'll just do it. Kelsey and Nick are going to show what this trick looks like inside of the double dutch ropes. Now, first of all, we're going to have them get down into position and show what this is going to look like. Nick will be in a push-up here. Kelsey's going to be over his legs. Now, right away, you have to realize that Mike and I are going to have to reach kind of wide to make sure that we get both of them in the ropes. So we are going to have to scoop a little bit. We're going to have to make sure we reach far enough to get all the way under them. Now, when they do their quarter turn, Kelsey's now going to be the long one here. And Mike and I are going to have to reach a little bit further right. Normally, when a turntable happens like that with two people in the ropes, the length is going to be kind of far on the left for the first push-up since Nick's hands are going to be over here. When they do their quarter turn, Kelsey's not going to be sliding a lot this direction. So she's actually going to be more this direction. So Mike and I are, instead of scooping real far wide this way, we're going to have to scoop more on to this side over here. So we just have to be aware of that, which direction they're going to be going when they do this. So we're going to start, we're going to have them jump in there. We'll turn for them and we'll see what this looks like inside of the ropes. Go down, turn, and up. And you'll notice just how Mike and I do nice scoops. We keep the ropes really low. And the other thing, always remember when you're scooping, that you're laying the rope down in front of them. Keep it flat on the ground the whole time as you're going before you lay down the next rope. You don't want to pull it up in the middle. A lot, some people have tendencies when they're scooping, they'll be here and they'll kind of bring their arm up. You want to keep it down and slide across and then pull up at the very far side. So we'll have them go in and show what the other one looks like. This one will be the subway into the turntable uh, stack. And just remember, they'll start this direction. Nick's going to go under Kelsey. They're going to come up, do a quarter turn. Kelsey do one more quarter turn, so they're facing in the same direction. And from here, they could get up and go into other skills. So what it'll look like when they get in there and do it. They go down. There's one, two, three, turn, turn, up. And it's a very fun skill to add. There's a lot of variety that you can do with it, and it just looks pretty cool um, versus just doing a regular stack. So work on picking a, a partner that you can work with, that you, you can pick the direction you're going. Remember, you're going opposite directions with the stacks, and then just incorporate it into subways and other types of tricks to create some really unique and interesting double dutch skills. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.